If you've been thinking about getting an IEMA amp, stick around to the end of the video where IEMA is giving viewers of this video an exclusive discount code that is good for a limited time only. The two amps we're discussing are the IEMA A07 versus the IEMA A07 Max. Now, if you've seen my review on the A07, you'll know just how much I love this thing. It's an incredible value and honestly, the best amplifier money can buy at this price point. If you haven't seen that video yet, click here to check it out. I'll also put a link in the description so you can dive into the reasons why the A07 is such a powerhouse. Before we get started, can I ask you to do me a favor? Subscribe to the channel. It'll really help it grow. Plus, if you do, you'll get more content just like this. Let me start by saying that the IEMA A07 is a fantastic amp. It's been praised by audiophiles for good reasons. It delivers clean, dynamic sound at a price that's almost hard to believe. Whether you're just getting into hi-fi or you're a seasoned audiophile, this amp holds its own in any set a setup. The A07 has the Texas Instruments TPA3255 chip, which is known to provide top tier performance and it's incredibly compact and sturdy. It's small enough to fit on any desk or in any home audio system. The design is simple, the volume knob is solid, and the sound it produces is nothing short of impressive. And that's the main point here, the value. The price of the IEMA A07 is unbeatable. It's the best amplifier you can buy at that price, period. But here's where things get interesting. Enter the IEMA A07 Max. Imagine your little brother coming home from university, now a sophisticated gentleman who smokes cigars, but who can still have a lot of fun when you turn the music up. That's what the A07 Max feels like compared to the A07. The Max takes everything that made the A07 great and elevates it unexpectedly, better in every way. At first I thought, how different could it be? It's still using the same TPA3255 chip, right? But wow, the difference is clear. And here, it's the upgraded components. IEMA didn't just add more power, they added higher quality audio grade components like WEMA capacitors from Germany and Rubicon capacitors from Japan. These premium components make a world of difference. Now let's talk about the sound. The A07 was already excellent, but the A07 Max? That's a different conversation. The bass hits harder with more authority, more heft, more impact. Even at the same volume levels, it delivers a bigger, more dynamic sound. It makes these speakers sound bigger than they really are. The mids are richer, more detailed, and the highs are clearer and more precise. The sound stage is wider, the imaging is more precise, and overall the A07 Max just feels more dynamic. Every aspect of the sound is improved. But here's the key. While it's clearly better, it's not light years ahead of the A07. The A07 Max offers a significant upgrade, but the A07 is still holds its ground as a fantastic value. Now, don't get me wrong. The A07 is still the best amp money can buy at its price. But if you can stretch your budget just a little bit further, the A07 Max is worth every penny more. It's simply more refined in every way. The upgrades don't stop at sound quality. The speaker binding posts on the A07 Max are much beefier than that on the A07. In fact, they're so robust, I even had to mount them sideways just to make them fit. It's little touches like this that show the extra thought that went into the A07 Max. Another small but significant change is the power switch. On the A07 Max, the power switch is integrated into the volume knob. Just turn the volume all the way down, and there's a satisfying click as the amp powers off. Turn it back up, click. It powers back on. It's a small change, but it makes the A07 Max incredibly simple to operate. Anyone can figure this out. Now, some of you might actually prefer the switch on the A07, especially if you never want to touch the volume knob. If you control your amp through your preamp or your streamer or your phone like I'm doing here, the A07 separate power switch might suit you better. So it's really down to personal preference. The back panel has some notable differences. Both amps feature RCA inputs and a 3.5 millimeter output, but and the speaker binding posts, as I mentioned, are bigger, heftier on the A07. Now, just like the A07, the 3.5 millimeter output on the A07 Max operates at a fixed level. While this is great for daisy chaining amps, it would be even better if it was variable. That way you could control it from the volume knob on the front, making it a great subwoofer output. That would be a magnificent change if they could do that. 
one feature that the AO7 Max has over the AO7 is the ability to operate it in bridged mono mode, making this a powerful mono black, giving you more flexibility and setup options. If you need even more power or thinking about biamping your system, the AO7 Max opens up these possibilities. Another noteworthy improvement on the AO7 Max is its shell heat dissipation design. The vent holes on the AO7 Max are not only functional, but elegantly designed. Helping keep the amplifier cool, this should help improve the lifespan. So what's the final verdict? The AO7 is still hands down the best amplifier money can buy at that price point. It's powerful, simple, and delivers incredible value for the money. Well... Well... <laughs> is this a joke? If you got a little extra money to spend, the IEMA A07 Max is worth every penny more. It takes everything that makes the A07 great and elevates it with better components, better sound, and more features. With a beefier build and better heat dissipation, the ability to bridge, the A07 Max is a premium upgrade that feels more sophisticated version of the A07. If you're serious about getting the best sound for your system, the A07 Max is the amp to go for. Now here's the best part your exclusive discount code. Use this code now on Amazon to get your limited time offer to get an IEMA amp of your own. I'll post the details in the description for your reference. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more details and more videos just like this.